so sexy. Oh, please don't. You know what is inspiring this? You know what this is? What? <laughs> you performed a version of Into Deep with your husband. Yes. It was giving me the chills, girl. Oh, uh, seriously. Because it's like a complete love song. You know what we were thinking? Like, he says, that if we would record this as an R&B song in America, this would be a hit. It'll like, fly. it really is a good R&B song. It will fly. Yeah, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Devin Adoramy, WeWeVlogs.com. I am here with Tiana Bogicevic. 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 Okay, you got it. You know what? I love your name, and I love what you're wearing. Who designed this outfit? Who designed? Okay, so the uh, the skirt. Let, let's move from here. So the skirt is H and M Conscience. So they oh. have a line that's like you know, like a er, conscious, earth earth friendly yeah. outfit. And this top, I actually sew it myself. You're kidding me. Yeah, I couldn't find so a top talent, like this. Your talent goes beyond yeah, yeah, music. Yeah, I sew. I sew. Yeah. Beyond music. I sew. This is a really dynamic interview. It's almost like jumping over hurdles. Yeah, I'm yeah. loving it. And we're being filmed from three angles, yeah. which is even more fabulous. Yeah. So are you enjoying Israel so far? I am. I am. Israel was always on my bucket list. So it was something that I always wanted definitely to come and see. You know, it's like a pilgrimage. You want to come here at least once in your lifetime. And this, when I, when I heard we're going to Jerusalem, I was like... Yeah, God. Hallelujah. You heard me. You heard me. <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. But it you live awesome. in the United States, right? Yeah. So what is it like as a Serbian living in the United States? Uh, well, for every, I live in the United States for two years now. Okay. So it's not so long. Uh, it takes time to get used to. Anyone, you know, mm. if you move anywhere, you kind of start from scratch all your life, not just your career. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, like it's different cultures, people are used to different things. You, you need to, you know, give a little, take a little, you know, find a common ground. And uh, when I learned to love uh, America, mm -hmm. then America started loving me too. So now I feel you like... you sing in America, right? You I run do. a production company with your husband and you... Entertainment company. Yeah, entertainment company. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we're and you supply like, music to corporate well, events, yeah. including hiring people to, to perform, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, music is a real part of your. It was never a question when I my husband is also a singer, so it was you know logical that we're gonna do something musically together. Uh, in Serbia, I have my career, meaning my original music that I'm putting out, and you know like I I was like that type of si of singer. I had my thing going on. Then I went to America, and I'm like I'm not at 30. Three? How old was it? I know, 23. <laughs> I can't. I'm not gonna like chase to be, become American star. I mean, you never know what can come your way. But I definitely wanted to stay in music, so that is what I want to do. I want to be my own boss. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to make this business. There's a lot of money there, so I was like, maybe thinking more about money than music this time. <laughs> but you've also been on the Eurovision stage, right? You shared it with Nina, who performed Karoban. Yeah. Charoban? Char that means uh, like, um, oh, magical, magical man, magical man. And so what, ex I mean, so, so you've kind of been in the loop, right? I have been, uh, well, when it comes to the whole, um, as anywhere, like even in America, even in America, there is only a like, certain number of musicians and singers that are like going with, uh, they're playing with everyone, with all the stars, with every, you know, mm -hmm. so people that are in the business, insiders. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of one of those people. I was very well known in music circles and, you know, I had my place there and for many, I, I'm a new face who is in Eurovision and like why is she going we don't know about her but everyone from music like yours truly said yours truly <laughs> but never mind I understand I, I completely understand that but on the other hand everyone you you can ask people uh, singers that were before in Eurovision everybody was say, like finally Tiana so you oh, know right. so it was completely other music business people were like that's it, like, right choice, finally you, like, you deserve it so much. So I got so much confirmation and affirmation and, like, you know, acknowledgement love. from and love, and I'm so happy, from my colleagues. And people will just, they will not, uh, look, this is not going to come, uh, they're not going to get anything bad out of knowing me. That's true. Uh, you know, and you now, they know me now. 
and you now have to be very careful in choosing your backing up singers. You have to be saying, oh, who needs the opportunity and kind of pick them uh, as well. It's, but it's actually also going to be people who already are in, uh, you know, doing it. So it's, uh, uh, it's most definitely going to be girls that already were in Eurovision before. We're just the crew, you know, I don't know. Like, now, we good, love each other. I'm good friends with Boris Manilov who wrote, um, produced your track. Yes. W were you sent other tracks? Did you listen to other options before deciding on Into D? No. RTS actually chose the song first and then a singer. Okay. So I was presented with the song, meaning like, okay, so you want to hear the song? Do you want to do like the song? And then I was like, yeah. I mean, I really loved it. At first to listen, I was like, hmm, this sounds very good. And I was like, yeah, okay. But I wasn't the only one running. There were some more well-known singers that were running for Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And in the end, they chose me because I was the best option for this song. So I'm not saying that I was the best option for Eurovision to present. To but represent. they really Certainly. liked this song. It's just this song was, you know, it, I, I did the best job with this song. And when you sing it, uh, particularly in the version that you did with your husband, it kind of unfolded almost like you song wrote it. it Really? Yeah, it did. There, there was that a there was a level of warmth and sincerity. So what does that track mean to you when you deliver it? Thank you for uh, for saying that. But it's just the way I sing. Uh, that's the uh, the same thing that my um, uh, com producer and composer that we uh, the, that produced my album in Serbian. He always says to, uh, when I write a song. Uh, Tiana sings it and she just brings it to another level. It's like it's as if she wrote it. Mm. So I think that that's that. Um, I kind of don't like not to understand the song. I'm, I'm here for the music and for singing. I'm not here for show business. Do you so song maybe I don't well? really. Do you song write as well? Do you write your own uh, I have some songs. I can't call myself songwriter. I have some songs that I think are great. People think are great too who heard them. You know, my friends <laughs> and my husband says, oh, you're. <laughs> <laughs> Great, but they are but good, they are good critics because they're is actually in the one, music industry, yes, right? Yes, that's true. That's true, and I don't. Yeah, they're not bullshitting me. You know, they're not like, oh, you're great. <laughs> I don't stand for that. I got high standards, and I mean, I have few good songs, but you don't consider yourself to be a songwriter if you don't constantly write songs. Like I'm, st I'm writing five songs in five years. Like, oh, good for you. You're a great songwriter. You know, that's not. But it's I like to quality. feel the song. Hey. I like to. When I hear the song, I need to understand it. I need to deliver the lyrics uh, and that melody. I need to love everything about it, and then I will deliver it. If I don't love any everything about it, I'm probably not going to sing it well. And you know what I'm going to love? Hitting this catwalk with you. So should we do it yeah. together? Yeah. Go yeah. as far oh, as we can. Oh, look. Look, this is really bad. Like, babe, look at the look. At the, it really, it is bag. really Okay. Three, two, one, hit it. Yeah. Giselle. <laughs> she is gonna twirl at that point. Yes. <laughs> and that is Tiana from Serbia. She is in the running for Eurovision's next top model. If you love her, start voting. <laughs> this was good. This was a good one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!